Dear learners, welcome to EPG Parshala. I am Prashant Kumar Gautam from University Institute of Hotel and Tourism Management, Punjab University, Chandigarh. Dear learners, today we shall be taking the module Typologies of Tourism. Dear learners, after going through this module, you will be in a position to know about various types of tourism, various forms of tourism and different types of tourism products. Introduction Tourism business has been getting more specialized with the passage of time. New types and forms of tourism are getting in operation year after year. The, this module will provide information about types and forms of tourism like sustainable, alternative, mass and new tourism etc. This module will also highlight the concept of tourism products and its various types. Broadly, there are three main types of tourism, namely international tourism, domestic tourism and regional tourism. However, on the basis of distance, directions and seasons etc., these types of tourism can be further segregated. Tourism has numerous forms depending upon concept, area and mode of operation. Tourism products are based for tourism businesses at any destination and broadly they are bundle of goods and services. Types of tourism. There are various types and forms of tourism elaborated as follows. Types of tourism. Broadly. There are three types of tourism as follows. International tourism, tourism activity in which people visit other countries than their native country. Domestic tourism, tourism activity in which people of native country visit different places within the same country. Regional tourism, tourism activity in which people visit places located within a region intra-regional or between region inter-regional in native country. The tourism types can further be categorized on different bases like distance, direction, number, etc. as follows. On the basis of distance, 1. Long-haul tourism. The journey is beyond 3000 km. Short-haul tourism. The journey is less than 3000 km. On the basis of direction of travel, inbound tourism, outbound tourism, on the basis of travel pattern, FIT, free independent tour, GIT, group inclusive tour, on the basis of number, mass tourism, selective tourism, on the basis of budget, elite tourism, budget tourism, on the basis of impact, hard tourism, soft tourism, on the basis of planning, urban tourism, rural tourism, on the basis of location, blue tourism, green tourism, white tourism, on the basis of time of the year, winter tourism, summer tourism, year-round tourism. Now let's have a look on the forms of tourism. There are various forms of tourism, few of which have been enumerated as follows. The first is cultural tourism. It covers various aspects like fairs, festivals, music, dances, cuisines, etc. Sports tourism. It is entirely focused upon sports events. Business tourism. Tourism activities are focused upon visits to meetings, conferences and exhibitions, etc. Rural tourism. Tourism activities in rural areas. Farm tourism. Tourism activities target farm houses and are focused to provide peaceful atmosphere away from city or town life. Agri-tourism. Tourism activities which are focused upon agriculture orientation. Spiritual tourism. Tourism activities covering meditation and visit to peaceful areas. Shopping tourism. Tourism activities target shopping centers across the world. 
political tourism. It involves tourism activities which covers visit to places of political interest. For example, places connected to leaders, movements, etc. Adventure tourism. This sort of tourism involves activities like trekking, mountaineering, river crossing, kayaking, canoeing, paragliding, parasailing, skiing, etc. Further, forms of tourism can be described under broad heads as follows. Sustainable tourism. Sustainable tourism involves visit to a place as a tourist in order to make a positive impact on the environment, society and economy of any tourism destination. It involves primary transportation, local transfers, accommodations, entertainment, recreation, nourishment and shopping. It involves travel for leisure, business and visiting friends and relatives. Travel is basic necessity of tourism activities. So the concept of sustainable tourism is tightly linked to concept of sustainable mobility. Research studies have revealed that 72% of tourism's carbon dioxide emissions come from transportation, 24% from accommodations and 4% from local activities. Aviation accounts for 55% of transportation linked carbon dioxide emissions or 40% of tourism's total. However, considering the impact of all greenhouse gas emissions from tourism, airline emissions are made at high altitude and their effect on climate is amplified. Aviation industry alone accounts for 75% of tourism's climate impact. The International Air Transport Association IATA, considers an annual increase in aviation fuel efficiency of 2% per year through 2050 to be realistic. However, both Airbus and Boeing expect are increasing emission by 5% yearly till at least 2020, overwhelming any efficiency gain. By 2050, with other economic sectors having greatly reduced their carbon dioxide emissions, tourism is likely to generate 40% of global carbon emissions. The main reason is an increase in average distance traveler by tourist which for many years have been increasing at faster pace than the number of trips undertaken. Sustainable tourism involves series of activities like selective tourist inflow to a destination, check on excessive cutting of trees, enhanced tree plantation, etc. Alternative tourism. Alternative tourism involves different tourism activities that are different from conventional tourism activities and helps to tackle mass tourism activities. These activities involve caving, hiking, nature camp, jungle walks, eco-friendly accommodations, etc. Alternative tourism involves different activities as namely rambling, hiking, trekking, biking, snow showing, ski mountaineering, rafting, diving, caving, climbing, horseback riding, visit to historical places, visit to archaeological sites, visit to foreign communities, experiencing foreign cultures, experiencing rural tourism, ecotourism, witnessing culture and historical heritage, consuming wine, experiencing traditional cuisine, experiencing traditional music and purchasing local handicraft, etc. Mass tourism. It is a form of tourism that involves huge inflow of tourist a place at one time putting strain over various natural and man-made resources and creating problems like pollution, overcrowding, theft and noise. It can be generally seen in events like fairs, festivals, New Year celebrations and tourist inflow in peak of tourist season.
New tourism trends. New tourism trends keep on emerging with the passage of time. Modern day new tourism trend includes following tourism trends. Cultural tourism, culinary tourism, ethnic tourism, educational tourism, ghost tourism, village tourism, eco-tourism, Bollywood tourism, cinema tourism, election tourism, festive tourism, mice tourism or business tourism, adventure tourism, nature tourism, cave tourism, shopping tourism, beach tourism, hill tourism, thrilling tourism, desert tourism, tourism product. Tourism product is a bundle of goods and services which are generally offered individually or in the form of tour packages. The tour package offered to client is merely a piece of paper having description of different services and goods to be offered if purchased by customer. This module is going to provide an orientation about the concept of tourism product, tourism elements, types of tourism products, features of tourism product, tourism resources, attraction, tourism destination and market. Tourism product can be defined as the sum total of the physical and psychological satisfaction it provides to tourists during their traveling en route to the destination. The tourist product focuses on facilities and services designed to meet the needs of the tourist. It can be seen as a composite product as the sum total of a country's tourist attractions, transport and accommodations and of entertainment which result in customer satisfaction. Each component of a tourist product is supplied by individual service providers, namely hotel companies, airlines, travel agencies, etc. The tourism product can be addition of attraction, accessibility and accommodation. Tourism products are assemblage of goods and services. For example, in business tourism, conference planning and management is a service offered by large hotels and convention centers. The fairs and festivals are events which are offered for enjoyment only at designated time of the year and these are perishable and vary from time to time. Cultural attractions are in the form of dances and music of any tourism destination, wildlife, flora and fauna are natural products that are offered to tourists as packages. Tourism products are intangible. Tourism product is intangible. For example, one cannot touch it. However, one can experience it after purchasing, for example, buying components like transportation and accommodation, etc. A tourism product can be viewed only in different media name the print media, newspaper, journals, magazine, pamphlets and brochures etc. and electronic media like pictures, videos and documentaries etc. Tourism products are purchased unseen and untouched. Psychological tourism product is psychological and it leads to mental satisfaction through outing and recreational activities. As human behavior is a complex phenomenon, it requires distinct satisfiers in order to get relaxed. Tourism activities offer alternatives to day-to-day -to -day routine hustle. Thus, the psychological aspects of tourism product is the base behind every sort of motivation that drive one to travel and explore unknown and known places during one's lifespan highly perishable. Tourism product is highly perishable and a travel agent or tour operator who sells a tourism product cannot store it. Production can only take place if the customer is actually present 
and once consumption begins, it cannot be stopped, interrupted or modified. If the product remains unused, the chances are lost. For example, if tourists do not visit a play, particular place, the opportunity at that time is lost. It is due to this reason that heavy discount is offered by hotels and transport generating organizations during off season. Composite product. The tourist product is an assemblage of different services element, namely transportation, accommodation and sightseeing etc. and cannot be provided by a single enterprise unlike an ordinary product. The tourism product covers the complete experience of a visit to different places one intends to visit. Various service providers contribute to provision of a collective experience. For example, an airline supplies air seats, a hotel provides rooms, and restaurants and travel agents make bookings for stay, sightseeing, food, etc. Unstable demand. Demand for tourism products is influenced by seasonal, economic, political and other such factors. There are certain time of the year one can observe a greater demand than others. The demand varies as per different factors like geographical, climate, economic and psychological etc. Fixed supply in the short run. The tourism product unlike a manufactured product cannot be brought to the consumer. The consumer must go to the product in order to consume or experience it. This requires an in-depth study of users, behavior, taste preferences, likes and dislikes so that expectations and realities coincides for the maximum satisfaction of the consumer. The supply of a tourism product is fixed in the short run and can only be increased in the long run following increased demand patterns. Absence of ownership. Tourism product does not provide ownership and it is offered as a piece of paper while sale or purchase. When one buy a car, the ownership of the car is transferred. But when one hire a taxi, one buy the right to be transported to a predetermined destination or, a, or at a predetermined price. One neither owns the automobile nor the driver of the vehicle. Similarly, hotel rooms, airlines ticket, etc. can be used but not owned. These services can be bought for consumption but ownership remains with the providers of the service. So, a dance can be enjoyed by viewing it. But the dancer cannot be owned after purchasing tickets of that dance show. Heterogeneous Tourism product is a heterogeneous product as it tends to vary in standards and quality over time. Unlike a TV set or any other manufactured product, a package tour or even a flight on an aircraft can't be consistent at all times. The reason is that this product is a service and services are people waste. Due to this, there is variability in this product. All individuals vary and even the same individual may not perform the same every time. For instance, all air hostesses cannot provide the same quality of service and even the same air hostess may not perform uniformly in the morning and evening shifts. Thus, services cannot be standardized. Risky. The risk involved in the use of a tourism product is high since it has to be purchased before its consumption. An element of chance is always present in its consumption. Like a show might not be as entertaining as it promises to be. A beach holiday might be disappointing due to heavy rain or being overcrowded. Marketable Tourism product 
is marketable. For example, it can be sold and purchased and promoted through activities like advertisement, etc. There are two levels of tourism marketing. At the first level, national and regional organizations engage in persuading potential tourists to visit the country or a certain region. These official tourism organizations first create knowledge of its country in tourist generating markets and persuade visitors in these markets to visit the country. At the second level, the various individual firms providing tourist services market their own components of the total tourist product to persuade potential tourists to visit that region. Tourism basically is an infrastructure based service product. The nature of the service here is highly intangible and perishable offering limited scope for creating and maintaining the distinctive competitive edge of the tourism product. The effective marketing of tourism needs constant upgradation of infrastructure to international standards and presupposes in its coordination with the tourism suppliers. In strategic term, it calls for the action of an integrated approach to management and marketing. In operational terms, it means the implementation of a better defined, better targeted market driven strategy for realizing the defined objectives. The important point to note here that marketing is applied to situations where the choice can be limited to a relatively small number of brands giving the consumer a reasonable choice. The process of selection thus became easier. In the field of tourism, this process is taking place by the increased use of package tour. A package tour is a travel plan which includes most elements of vacations such as transportation, accommodation, sightseeing and entertainment. The tourist product is a composite product. Whether it is sold as a package or assembled by the individual himself or his travel agent. There are many tourism products that are available to the consumer today. In modern times, these tourism products whether traditional in nature like culture and pilgrimage or modern like adventure and conventions and conferences, health, medical, etc. are being packaged, promoted and priced appropriately to different people. Definitions Some of the social scientists and authors have defined tourism product as follows. Tourism product according to Middleton Tourism product is a bundle or package of tangible and intangible components based on an activity at a destination. It is an experience available at a price. Tourism product according to Madlik. Tourism product covers the whole experience of tourism. Tourism product according to Manoj Dixit. Tourism product comprises of all goods and services utilized by a tourist while away from home. Difference from ordinary products. Tourism product is different from ordinary product. The following enlists the differences between tourism product and ordinary physical product. Physical product is standardized, non-perishable, tangible, bought by money, purchased after seen, always patent, Brand loyalty is there, seasonal factor is not there, homogeneous, whereas tourism product is non-standardized, perishable, intangible, hard by money, purchased unseen, non-patent, brand loyalty is not there, seasonal factor is there and heterogeneous. Different types of tourism products. There are broadly four types of tourism products. These are further specialized and subcategorized as follows. TOP, tourist oriented products. 
These products are created to cater tourists and include sectors that provide basic tourism infrastructure. TOP is also known as STP, Sectoral Tourism Product. STP can further be divided into transportation, accommodation, travel facilitator like travel agent and tour operator, shopping, entertainment, food and beverage industries. ROP, Resident Oriented Product. These products are designed and created for locals but can also be used by tourists. BTE, Background Tourism Element. Background tourism elements are further divided into natural BTE, man-made BTE and socio-cultural BTE. STP, standardized tourism product. It includes tangible articles like photographs, souvenirs and pamphlets, etc. Dear learners, let's summarize this module. In this module, you have known about different types and form of tourism. This module has provided information about the concept of tourism product and various types of tourism products. There are mainly three types of tourism, namely international tourism, domestic tourism and regional tourism. However, on basis of distance, direction and season etc., these types of tourism are further segregated. Tourism has numerous forms depending upon concept, area and mode of operation. Tourism products are based for tourism businesses at any destination and broadly they are bundle of goods and services. Types, forms of tourism and types of tourism products also help in identification of tourism activity at any tourist destination. Thank you.